Hello Taurus, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your weekly tarot reading from the 1st to the 7th of July 2019 for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. I hope you're well Taurus. So, we have five cards all clarified by a separate Rider Waite tarot deck. We have the past, the present, challenges if you have any. Advice from tarot and outcome. I've also turned over the bottom of the deck. I don't always, but sometimes I feel a need to. There's an angel answer card and also an angel oracle card for further clarification. So Taurus, we have the moon, we have the seven of cups and we have the king of pentacles. The moon, let's start with the moon. The moon has a number of meanings. This can talk about... It can talk about where things might have been hidden from you. There can be some kind of deception with the moon energy. This is the past position. You could have been deceived in some way, shape or form. Lack of truth, underhand dealings. Again, things that are just not done above the surface. Um, so that's the one kind of like meaning of the moon energy. There's also a lot of um, emotion that's associated with the moon card as well. We have the tamed and un untamed fear with the dog and the wolf. So your emotions making you out of control, running out of control in a situation in your internal world. Um, so yeah, keeping you in a state of negativity. The moon can also talk about reflection. Now, interestingly, you do have the sun here. So I kind of think there's something about things being revealed from the past, the present. Now, it could well be revealed about awakening to your true self, awakening to your capabilities. By taking action, you're bringing about positive change again, awakening to your your true light, if you like. Um, and this is where almost kind of like we allow... Uh, because this is the subconscious awakening and this can be very much a card of the subconscious. So yeah, again, our fears and doubts just ruining us a little bit. Can talk, and again, there could be a period of reflection, reflecting on situations that might have happened in the past. The other thing that the moon represents is intuition. Intuition to make clear choices in your life. So there was something instinctive that some of you might have known about a situation or a person or a group of people in whatever aspect some some of you knew, knew deep down what you needed to do maybe what was going on or suspected so there is that element as well now we have the king of pentacles taurus which is your energy actually and we have the seven of cups this is venus and scorpio there is an opportunity or certainly there were opportunities or, or you're hoping and wishing and dreaming for opportunities to transform your life for the better to make opportunities real this is a sign of material success the king of pentacles six sit, sits in all his wonder in all his success surrounds himself by beautiful things that represent his achievements that represent his skill and you know pride that he takes in the work that he does so this is somebody who understands how to manifest success now this could be somebody who might have given you advice Taurus you know practical advice grounded advice honest advice so the kings can sometimes talk about somebody in our lives Maybe in helping you make choices and decisions going forward in the past. But you see this mist. You see this mist. This is... You're keeping yourself in the dark because you're allowing those emotions, that negativity, to get in the way of you manifesting the promise of something wonderful happening in your life. Yeah. There's an element of confusion here because you just weren't in the right frame of mind to make clear choices in the past. Yeah. Now, in some of you, I kind of think that there were empty promises made. Could be to do with this energy, the King of Pentacles. Maybe in a job situation, for example, you were promised a promotion. Maybe you were promised more money. Maybe you were promised something in love. Maybe... 
a relationship didn't work out the way that you thought it would. And there's been something about the promise of something not living up to expectation. So that's what I'm kind of feeling with this energy as well, because this can be about empty promises. Um, you know, it's the, it's the promise of something that if you don't make it happen, it, it, it just fades away, it fizzles, fizzles away. Um, as an energy, this is somebody who understands how to make money, be successful. There is a real energy about career progression in this, the desire to progress on the career front, the material front, get more money. Um, so I think that's what you, that was some of your hopes, your dreams, your wishes, desires. But I think you're, you just weren't in the place to, to make it real um, for some reason, because I kind of think this energy might have got in the way. There could be something about self-sabotage as well. But here's the thing, you know, when you persevere, when you are determined, when you stick to your guns, when you fight on, and this is that moon in Sagittarius. Now, this is, this is where you, you use that moon energy to, to power your passions, that intuitive energy, to, to push you on, to propel you on. And this is somebody who is not giving up and they're not going to give up because you've got a ten of wands here. So when this card is saying you're closer than you think to bringing about positive change of fortune, the ten appearing in this reading is saying it is possible to make that happen in your life. You can bring about a real change of fortune by perseverance and determination, by fighting on. And you're closer than you think to bringing that about. And the Wheel of Fortune, a beautiful card, this is about good luck, good fortune on your side, things turning in your favour, obstacles being removed. This connects to material wealth, this can connect to love coming into your life. Fate, destiny, all of those things can be connected to this energy because there is something about things happening at the right time, in the right place, in the right location, um, on the right day, if you like, uh, to be very much about divine orchestration. So things only happened for a reason in order for you to, yeah, divine, basically divine timing is is very much about things happen when they're meant to happen. And that's the message of this card. So good luck, good fortune is now on your side. And I'm seeing the tower moment here. And I understand there's been some challenging situations in the past to overcome this tower energy. Some of you might be going through it right now. Some of you may have just finished it. Some of you may have just started the energy. There are levels to this card. these cards. I try and put these cards into categories, but at the end of the day, it is one of those things that the cards will overlap in terms of timelines because everybody has different life stages. So this is the promise of good fortune. Now there's real opportunity for expansion as well. This is the Jupiterian energy, expansion and growth. So it's a real message and that's more firmed up in your challenges position because here we have destruction, the Mars energy, destruction. The universe raising your tower to the ground because it wasn't built on a firm structure, it wasn't built on firm foundations. This was a square tower, this is your round crown. It didn't fit you anymore. You'd outgrown it, you see how large these people are to this tower. There was something that you, out, you outgrown and the universe was saying change needed to happen in order for you for, to progress. But your challenge is to overcome this destructive force and almost kind of like turn it on its head to be a positive force for good. I think that's what's happening. I think that's what's dawning on you. And I think that's why some of you have been in that negative energy, Taurus. Um, and this can, this can also be about hidden blessings. So you only saw part of the path. You only saw part of the experience. And now you're realizing maybe this week, certainly with opportunity coming into your life to, to move forward in a positive way, that things are being revealed to you that you didn't realize why things happened in the past. Yeah. So there's some revelation, most definitely. Everything becomes clear. That's your challenge is to overcome the negativity of the tower energy and to allow that positivity of the sun energy to come in. 
from destruction comes growth and that's the promise that's the challenge as well for you allowing yourself to move on from that situation and if you do this is a real healing energy there's restoration it's a restorative energy the sun energy everything grows in the sunshine there's promise of abundance of celebration this can connect to material success again that king of pentacles energy you wanted opportunities that would bring you material success maybe and this is your, the promise of it if you overcome the challenges of negativity this is you pushing through barriers you see and you've got the death energy here the death and the sun card you see the sun rising on that death card there this is the sun rising this is saying that new path if you allow yourself to be reborn in death that new path becomes clear if you free yourself and let go from the past let go of negativities you push through boundaries that have kept you stuck kept you restricted again restriction the tower energy almost kind of like kept prisoner of your own doing in a way so this is somebody who pushes through the barriers and comes through the other side and there's a restorative energy because there's enlightenment through liberation this person understands where they're going they're open to receive there's more optimism optimism about the future they know where they're going they know how to get there they know how to achieve it so yeah full enlightenment full awareness of your capabilities this this flag coming from the, the sun to the earth uh, talks about finding your own natural power as well so beautiful energies there but very restored this is you coming back restored twice as strong and yeah the challenge is to acknowledge yourself acknowledge your own light acknowledge that you can bring about positive abundance and growth from from something that was destructive this is a card of independence you standing in your own right in your own light this is somebody who has value in themselves again value in life this is also a card of success for those of you who are entrepreneurs this is a really good card of of things picking up pace you can bring about positive change from challenging situations um but yeah this is a wonderful sign of material success that could be career progression for some of you or just finding value in your circumstances again yeah powerful energies there now the advice from tarot this was interesting when these came out because there is something taurus about having faith this is your card taurus this is your card and when you appear it's directly speaking to you it is almost kind of like that the cards are singling you out to say taurus you need to have faith that you can move on from this situation you can find real progress there are opportunities could be in the business front to really move forward at pace now this is the green light to go so take action while that wheel of opportunity turns in your favor because now's the time to grab hold of opportunity now's the time to grab hold of uh, sorry acknowledge your own power now is the time to move towards to, su to success the ones can represent the progressive success yeah and and move away from that destructive energy you see the interesting thing is you can you can allow yourself to shine in your own right the taurus energy the hierophant or you can allow that Mars energy, this is Mars in Gemini, to just hold you in that state of negativity. And that's your choice. This is your choice. There is something about having faith, even though you don't see the plan, because the Hierophant can represent the seen, the seen part of the universe, God the divine, um, the seen and unseen in that reason, in that in that way, shape or form. So there is something about trusting the process, trusting the hidden blessings. Again, with that moon energy, the wheel of fortune, the sun, all will be revealed when it needs to be revealed. Opportunities will come when they need to come. There's something about having faith there, trusting the process and not giving in to that fear and doubt. Take action in your own life, because obviously the universe doesn't do all the work for you. You have to be a co-creator of your destiny. 
And yeah, this could be you standing in your own light. So beautiful energies there, powerful energies. And the outcome, Taurus, the outcome here is there's something about don't allow yourself to stay in a state of imbalance because by being imbalanced this is almost kind of like an earthly form of the temperance energy by being imbalanced you can't make clear choices you can't get control of your life the way you need to get control of it right now there's something about doing one thing at a time in order to move forward just start one thing, finish it, move on to the next thing. Don't juggle all things at once because, you know, there's a risk of sinking or swimming. You see the um, the ship in the background on the crest of a wave. You don't know whether it's going gonna, it's gonna to float or, or sink. So it's in the balance if you continue to be in balance. This is about reconciling differences in your internal world, bringing your emotions into balance. Again, that destructive energy, that Mars energy. Allow it to come into balance. There's something about letting go of, of things that are pulling you out of balance now. I kind of think that you need to let go of, of things of the past that have gone, that have finished. Because they're not healthy. It keeps you in a state of imbalance, Taurus. And the death energy, you see, this is about knocking down limitations, old beliefs, old it could well be knocking uh, pushing through boundaries that have been placed on you you know some people have glass ceilings in the career front they don't seem to be promoted anymore this is where you're overcoming that um challenges in the home life overcoming challenges restrictions that may well have been placed in you in your in your home life um knocking to maybe financially knocking through walls in order to be liberated and move forward find material success, find material, progressive material success. The death card is that rebirth, it's that liberation, it is that blue sky thinking as well. It's liberating your inner world as well as your external world. It's about allowing yourself to be reborn and see things completely differently. Allow that new sun to rise and light your true path before you. There is an element of you have to let go in order to move forward. Yeah because that's what happens when you keep hold of things that just don't serve you anymore. And when you do, you just find things start moving. You move, move out of choppy waters to calm your waters. So powerful energies, powerful transitions. This can talk about moving home, moving jobs, traveling, all of those kind of things. But it's such a positive card because it's a card of balance and you're getting balance where there's been imbalance through allowing yourself to let go and turn your back on a past that just doesn't have anything for you anymore. I kind of think the worst is behind you. This card says the worst is behind you. And yeah. So the Nine of Swords, thing, you know, you're pushing through the other side and this is you pushing through. Again, this is a Saturnian energy. So this is Saturn in Sagittarius, I think. So this is pushing through limitations, boundaries. This is, this is you carrying weights unnecessarily. And it says it's over. So why are you still carrying these weights around you? The 10 is completion. So the question is, why does this person continue to carry these ones around with them? because it's unnecessary burdens that are stopping you from reaching, you know, new beginnings, fresh starts, new paths being lit before you. Yeah. So we have, there's something better. So the angel answer card, there's something better. And the other one was, let go, Taurus. So yeah, I think I've said it a lot, but you know, the message really is to let go. 
and yeah divine guidance this is the angel oracle card there is massive divine guidance in your reading and let me just point it out to you again we have hidden blessings we have the wheel of fortune opportunities moving turning in your favor you know divine orchestration we have the tower energy realigning you to your true path we have the sun energy overcoming obstacles and moving on and feeling more restored we have the Hierophant, the physical representation of the divine energy. This is your energy. This is you finding answers, I kind of think, as well. Having faith, finding answers. And you have absolutely that death card as well. And this is death and rebirth that links to the sun energy here. So, yeah, coming through the other side is what I'm feeling. Beautiful energy, Taurus. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a great week and I'll see you next time. Thank you.